Greetings. This will be our second dig at the carriage house bottle dump. Earlier this morning, Chris and I opened it up so it's ready to go. The carriage house is behind the Loeb Hilburn home, which was built in 1886 and belonged to a prominent family here in the North Historic District of Palaka. But before we start, I wanted to share something with you. Over the course of the last week, several people have gotten up with me and said, I'm a subscriber, but I don't get notifications whenever you post a new video. Here's what you do. First, you have to subscribe. And then if you look beneath the video, there's a little bell silhouette. Well, if you click on that bell thingy, uh, it will notify you whenever I put up a new video. And so with that, let's get going. You can see the orange peg right there represents where we left off. And look what's in the corner right next to that root rake. What appears to be a whole bottle, really nice. And Chris and I have not found one intact like this so far. So we're hoping it's whole. And to use another word in the terminology of bottle collectors, that it's full or intact. I thought this bottle is going to be a little easier to get out. It seems like it's really stuck in there. I think that's because the neck is so elongated. All right. Here we go. Cross your fingers, Chris. Oh, 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 oh. I gotta eat the camera so far back. Oh. That is nice. Wow. My gosh, it's, it's, and it's gotta be what, over a foot long? Yep, it is. And it's gotta be a wine or spirit bottle of some sort. Look at that bottom. Yeah, with the kick up in there. Yeah, and it's it's looks purple. Oh, uh, almost a reddish. Mm amberish color that is nice Look i think that. we call that a keeper well i'm digging chris is going around he's doing a little metal detecting and he's also going over this pile of dirt i just threw up because uh occasionally we'll find something in there like a piece of brass or copper you just never know when a coin might show up chris i think we got another one i think we got another one it looks like a strap side doesn't it or, or is that a beer after 130 years or so they tend to get wedged in there pretty good. Oh, there's a, uh, what is that? Oh, that's a, that's another bone. See how it's been sawn? Um, yep. Put that over here with the others. Those are the bones we brought out this morning. Just to, it illustrates all that much better that this was just a general trash pit where they threw everything in here. And in some places I've been, I actually have found the kitchen sink, but we haven't, we haven't found one here and I hope we don't because it's, it, it is some effort to take out a kitchen sink, literally, because a lot of them were, were made out of really heavy metal. Oh, there we go. Chris, it is whole. All right. So, Look, you can see where the label right there, that's where the label was. Uh-huh. Thing. Amber beer. Amber beer that top is the, how wavy and everything what chris is talking about is how uneven it is where the lip was applied to the neck and that's a really good indicator that this is pre-machine made which means before 1915. so chris and i are taking turns uh digging out this hole we've probably got a uh, four foot by four foot section we're working on and we're here today because it's a little bit cooler it's memorial day but the temperatures probably 10 degrees less than what it was two days ago. Plus we got some clouds and uh, essentially we're taking off the top layer a few inches at a time. We'll, we will rake it with a root rake. If we feel glass, we'll stop and, uh, and excavate whatever it is. I think it's only... Oh yeah, big piece of a dish. Yeah. It's that same uh, flower pattern. Same flower pattern. Mm. That's nice. Huh? You're doing good work, Chris. Thank you. Chris says, yeah, Bob, I'm in, <laughs> I'm in the sun. Thank you. Can you hear it? When we come over a bottle like this with our, uh, with our rake, you can hear it. It'll make that sound right there, and it'll come right over the curve and down. And you can feel that, and you know you've hit glass. And if you tap it like that, 
and it does not sound hollow, that's a good indication it is intact. Oh, it's not intact. Uh -huh. Too bad, Chris. Oh, well. Uh, Close, but... No cigar. No cigar? Mm -mm. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> Look at that seam. Yeah, when you see that seam like that, the mole seam, that's that also is an indicator that it's uh, kind of a more primitive process. It's a little different than the one we pulled out just a minute ago. Oh, yeah, it's bigger. Well, well, I don't know. Yeah. But this one, you can't see the seam in it, right? Right. And this one's got a. See how it's got the where yeah. the metal used to go for the cap? Yeah, yep. Yeah. So this, this doesn't have it. So they're a little bit different. And it looks like this may have been in a turn mold where it erased the seam, whereas this one, they, they just left yeah. the seam from the mold. It was a rake in the ground. This is what popped out. Oh, it's got some writing. D E R M. I-F-U-C-E. I don't have a clue. I've never seen a bottle like that. That is a great little bottle. I'm assuming it's some sort of a pill bottle. Well, I was raking out this hole earlier. Chris was over here going over the mound and this little bottle popped out. Little square medicine bottle, probably a pill bottle. So we're doing well. We've got four intact bottles so far this morning. All right, let me know. you ready? Yeah, I think uh, Eric can definitely use them too. Come on. So. Okay. Yeah. And I, you, know, right. you don't make it anymore, but I know of. Let me have it. Yeah, you, it's so hard to find those things. Yeah, and then, okay. he was a roofer. Roofing contract. You ready? Did a little more research, and this is a pill bottle uh, made in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania between 1860 and 1886. And Chris and I both think this is really cool. Good find. We also just came out with a uh, mason jar lid. Let me switch hold. And this just came out in a shovel full of dirt all by itself. Uh, that's the Maltese cross, right, Chris? Is that what that's I'm looking what at? it looks like. Yeah. Uh, but it looks like the patent date goes from um, February 12th, 1868 to uh, December 17th, I think 68. And I'm reading that on the inside here. It's also got stamped. It's a little easier to read what the patent dates are. So if this mason jar lid, you know, 1868, we're getting on back there now. Just case came up with something unusual. And it is whole. We, we found a bunch of broken heads. And that's uh, ceramic, right, Chris? Mm -hmm. Let me see the bottom of it. How does it join? It's just uh, hollow. And the top used to have probably even actual human hair on it or horse hair now that is neat right. wondering if the glass eyes are inside yeah. well we'll have to clean it off and see yep i have to say this section of the of the dump is treating us real good today uh, just had this bottle roll out so i've cleaned it off i wanted to get it right with the light so you could see it but it's lc canova and brothers, druggist Palaka, Florida. Uh, we found one like this three or four weeks ago. It, uh, that one, unfortunately, had a little crack in the back. This one is totally intact. Oh, nope, there's a little tiny nick right on the lip. But still, uh, it would display nice, and uh, we are just doing great in this new section of the trash pit. Very, very pleased. Turns out there's something special about this LC Canova bottom. Uh, during our first dig here, we recovered one of those bottles and immediately uh, Larry Beaton, our local historian here in Palaka, got up with me and said, Bob, I do not know of an LC Canova pharmacy. What really stumped Larry was he could not find any advertisements for a drugstore of that name. But with a lot of digging, he finally found where there was an LC Canova pharmacy in Palaka for about a two year period before they were bought out by a competing drugstore. And here's what he had to say about this bottle. This is the first time I've ever seen one of these bottles and I would consider them probably to be rare. And have you uh, explored eBay to look? Yes, I've looked at uh, eBay and also a couple of sites that uh, sell uh, bottles 
from Florida, and I've never seen another one of these bottles listed. And with that, let's get back to the dig. And right beneath where I found that druggist bottle just a couple minutes ago, looks like there's a dish. This may be a first ever, a first ever dish intact. No, it's not. Too good to be true. Oh, look at that. So sad. There's a Does little chip. The maker's mark on it? Um, there is a maker's mark. I'd have to look that one up. Looks like I got another small pill bottle, maybe a druggist uh, stuck in the side wall of the hole. This is it right here. There's a piece of broken glass on top of it. I thought it might be one of those little narrow pill bottles we found earlier. No, this is something a little different. It looks like a Look at the glass in there. And uh, hopefully all this broken glass on top of it protected what Chris and I are hoping is a whole bottle. Oh, it's not. Oh. The top is broken off and we have not found one like that. Hey, it looked good. It did, it's, it's got that flat side and then the round. Probably a label would have no markings. fit in that deeper groove on the one side of it, yeah. right there. Uh, yep. A label of some sort. Yeah, so that would have been a druggist bottle. And now I've got another, it's a druggist. Let's see if it's whole. It is. And it, unfortunately, it's unembossed, but hey, eh, the label would have gone right in here. But it's intact, that's always a good sign. Nice, nope, nothing on the bottom either. I thought that was gonna be another uh, Ackerman and Stewart. It's I true. really did. Side, look at Oh, it's a, well, it is a strap side, though. Yeah. You call it a strap side because of this extra layer of glass that goes along the edge. I think some bottle collectors call them side straps, but I don't think it makes a difference. Side strap seems to say seems to be easier to say, particularly for somebody like like me who who gets his words tongue tied <laughs> sometimes. What you got, Chris? I don't know. I don't know if it's a it's, it's a top a, to something. Is that okay? Like a, like a lid to a cookie jar or something, or a maybe teapot or something. The way it's got the things to, yeah, still got that. It looks like it had things that would hold it correct in place. So it still has a, a floral design. Nice. Yeah. Okay, that's different. So, so right now Chris is excavating uh, around the base to what is a mineral spring water. We found one earlier. It's from Budapest, Hungary. Uh, they date back to 1890. The question is, is this bottle whole? Mm. Oh, and there's what you got. Oh, wow. Yeah, that would have been nice if we could have. It's got nice, uh, nice embossing on that chip. What do you think, Chris? You think it's whole? I don't know. Now that'll be, a, that'll be another miracle right there if it is. Oh, it's a heck of a bottle. Yeah, they are they are very collectible. I first saw one of these when I watched a, uh, I think it's broken. Uh. Yep. I first saw one of these when I watched a um, bottle dig in YouTube. Uh, I think it was over in France or England. And a guy pulled one of these out. And uh, yeah, it's broken. first time I saw one. And that's exactly what that is, is the base to a uh, mineral spring of water from Dude, you're best hungry. Hey. Oh, that would have been another good one. About ready to wrap it up on this hole. It's probably about 12.30. Chris and I have been at it for four and a half hours and for uh, two old men, <laughs> I think that's long enough. But Chris sunk his shovel into the ground, heard some glass, and so we're fixing to dig up what might be a whole bottle. There we are. I think it's a very large medicine and I don't see any embossing on it, but I don't know. We'll see. We haven't found a whole bottle in about an hour. Oh, that's a big one. It's the the lip is chipped on it, but you know what, Chris? It's nice. Oh, look at the lettering. Even though the lip is chipped, I that's something you might want to. Utter drug and chemical. Corporation, Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah, Chris and his wife like to uh, collect the uh, Looks like the drug bottles, and uh, 
Oh, it's got it's got lettering on both sides. I think it would display nice. It's for chronic constipation. <laughs> Is that what it said? I can't even pronounce it. System of curing constitutional humors. Oh, constitutional humors. I don't know if that means hemorrhoids or <laughs> or what. If the illness didn't cure you, the uh, kill you, the cure would. Well, we were going to close up the hole, but we decided to keep going a little bit more, and and look what we found. Got a hand of that ceramic doll. That's kind of cool. All right. Thank you.